Can you tell me what subject you teach in school? Okay, well, <laughs> so I've been a teacher for 14 years. Mm -hmm. And, oh, thank you. <laughs> and um, I teach ninth grade physical education. Oh, yes. fun. Yes. I love some gym. I like gym too, y'all. Oh, gym music. And lunch. Okay. <laughs> now, can you tell me more about like life growing up for you as a kid? Your amazing yes, story. Of course. So uh, I grew up in Watts, California, mm -hmm. and um, it was challenging mm -hmm. to say the least, for sure. Aww. And um, gotcha. and just growing up there in the '80s during a crack pandemic going on, and a lot of gang violence happening. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mother, she was so worried for me and my brother. And, we had to get home before the lights, you know, the yes. street lights came on. And then there'd be situations, you know, we're always getting, you know, picked on or, you know, they're testing us. And I'd be like, like, man, I just fought you two days ago. Like, why, why right. are we doing this again? Right. So, yeah, it was, it was challenging. Wow. How were you able to escape that environment? So my mom, so uh, someone told her about the busing program. So mm -hmm. I was bussed out of where I lived, and so I just only did school outside of my community. So that really helped out a lot. And how did that experience like help shape you? Shape you? So uh, going out, and then I would come back. So th the education, 100%. Also, the arts was great at the mm -hmm. schools that I went to, and I would notice certain conversations my friends or just the kids in the school would have outside of the conversations that I would have at the schools that I went to, mm -hmm. and that shaped me because. I really got to understand that this education is really important. And it was a disparity between the education going on in the inner city and the education going on outside. Okay, and why is like a representation so important in the education field to bring it into the classrooms? And what exactly do you feel is most important that you like to implement in your classroom? It's a good question. So it's very important uh, representation because when I grew up, I didn't have any black male teachers mm. growing up. So me going into the classroom, I have that representation and people can see that, you know, um, I'm like a figure that they can right. see now moving forward. And I like to implement situations that I had to endure during my life because my students, they don't believe that I grew up in the hood. <laughs> They're like, Mr. Ross, that's cap. You didn't grow up in no hood. And I'm like, I did, but I left my street credit card at home, so <laughs> can't show you. Uh -huh. So they can yeah. relate to you more when they know, like, no, I've been through what you've been through, and you're a great example because if you've been through it and you're there, you can show them they can make it through it too. Exactly. Right? And if they want to be a teacher, yeah. Yes. What do you love most about coaching? So I coach um, girls basketball and girls Ooh. softball. Yes, and badminton. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So what I like most about teaching, uh, well, coaching, because teaching is a little bit different uh -huh. because you, you could take a test and you could kind of finagle your way around the test, but there's no finagling athletic ability. That's true. Like, you, you cannot <laughs> fake that. So to watch a kid, like, from first bouncing the basketball or learning how to swing or catch, you can see that natural progression. Mm -hmm. And then as they're going through that journey, then I can go back and be like, hey, remember? when you couldn't do that? Right. Like, how does that make you feel? And they feel accomplished, like just physical fitness, like that's very important in the black community, any community, any actually. Community. So, very important. And do you find like that confidence that they give from working with them through the sports goes beyond that within them throughout oh, the schooling? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Like that does build their self-esteem. Self -esteem. When they're able to achieve something at that level that they didn't know they could do mm -hmm. before, they're like, okay, well, what's the next task? What yes. more can I do? Yes. So. Oof, I love that so much. And I love this, that you, you go, it, it just doesn't end with you. You just keep going further and further beyond. Like, you come out of pocket for supplies for the kids. Tell us about that. Yes, so the public school system don't have the most money. So um, I do, for supplies, have to come out, uh, any sporting equipment that we have. Like, I started a badminton program at the school, so I had to fund that with, you know, with our budget, our funds, and anything else that's needed and necessary. Sometimes with the school, it just takes time to get it. So I'm like, no, these kids need it now. Now. So we figure it out now. Oh, mm, you're a blessing. Thank you're you. a blessing to the babies. You're... Hey. Man, 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 you're changing so many lives, and we want to see you continue that amazing work. So we want to give you a gift card of $2,500 so you can continue. Wow. You're doing an awesome job. 
Thank you. We are so, so proud much. of you. Thank you so much, Brian. Come back and see us and take care of those babies. <laughs> if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.